now we're gonna get in a little bit more concepts and we're gonna go just <coughs> uh, a little bit uh, quicker so to cover our material so uh, we'll get to relative density so there's a questions that pop up in the exam for the relative density and you will see the equation which is a dr in here okay and it's um it's nothing more than a, a, a weight volume relationship for sands and gravels so typically for granular material or coarse grained material and it measures the soil fill density compared with the measured density in the lab so we are that's why we say relative density okay um, always expressed in this equation which is uh, uh, dr relative density it's nothing more than something deals with the unit weight and then sometimes is in the void ratio why because it's a density you know when you densify soil the unit weight will change and at the same time you densify it you have less voids right when you compact a soil so that's why density compacted you get higher relative or higher density okay so anyway so this is the first equation sometimes they give you gamma d how much is the dry unit weight he give you how much the maximum and the minimum dry unit weight and they ask you to calculate the relative density and it's a easy questions please make sure to identify those giving parameters sometimes they give you the relative density and the lab data which is gamma dry max and gamma dry minimum and they ask you to find how much is the dry unit weight I believe I pulled the definition in here yeah so this is the relative density and just forget about E max and E minimum we did not get into it yet this is gamma D max gamma D minimum gamma D so what's this the maximum dry unit weight the minimum dry unit weight and in C2 and C2 mean in the field in sight and C2 dry unit weight so sometimes they will ask you how much is the NC2 dry unit weight and you have to giving this and this and you just plug in now in other words sometimes I mean in other questions I would say they might give you E minimum the void ratio the minimum void ratio maximum void ratio in C2 void ratio and they ask for relative density then you use this or the other way around they will ask for the in C2 void ratio by giving you the relative density and the lab test result for E minimum and E max and then you can compute that uh, Carlos I guess is, is if you are asking about about the uh, unit weight is you will be in this typical questions you are not giving an actual like a I'm not sure if I get the question but you'll be giving more like a the gamma D minimum and gamma D max which is more like a lab test result and it will be asked to find if I, I get your question right it will be asked sometimes to find the NC to dry unit weight they're not like going in in a lot of complication in this kind of problems so I don't want to get in tip of of stuff in this one but I will I the problems that I see in this one is more like a simple problems and plug in okay so trying to minimize the level of how much we go into theory so we don't make it complicated so we can get into the benefit or get the benefit out of the this prep class Thank you.